Welcome to Mind Behind Academy Intermediate Course. In today's video, I want to share with you some tricks that can improve your user experience while using your chatbot and speed up your chatbot creation. So let's go to the settings. In here, you can see global keyword and global error message. Let's start in order with global keyword. This function allows you to understand definitive words on sentences anywhere on your chatbot and direct the user to another flow as soon as one of these words or phrases are used by the user. You can find this function useful in the cases of the user wishing to leave the chatbot or when the user comes for a particular complaint about your product or service. Here I will be creating keywords for leaving the chatbot. So these words can be, for example, by I don't want to talk anymore. See you. Goodbye. After every sentence or word, I click enter. And now, as you can see, there's also connection section. So after my user writes these words or these sentences, I want to lead them to a particular module, which in our case, in case of our chatbots, is have a nice day module. Once they are connected to have a nice action, it leads them to end action, so the conversation is simply ended. You can use global keywords for any overruling flows you want to create on your chatbot, and you can direct them to wherever you wish in your design of your on your chatbot. Now let's save our new changes. And let's come back to the settings. Global error message is the next setting we can find in our chatbot settings window. This message helps you manage a situation which occurs outside your design and you wish to direct your users according to your design during their experience on your chatbot. For example, your chatbot is a decision tree, like in our case, where your users have to select buttons to continue their flow. However, a user wrote something completely different rather than choosing the flow which you have pre-designed for them. To direct this user accordingly, you can add a global error message, for example, like Could you please select one of the options below to continue our next chat? This message can speed up the process of building a chatbot largely since you don't have to implement a fallback message to every send selection if the user doesn't want to follow the flow. So don't forget to save. And now you know the tricks. I hope this video was helpful for you and you found it useful. So why not open your chatbot and try them for yourself? Have a nice day.